My name is William Echeverria and I'm going to talk about uh, the next agricultural revolution. Well, uh, to begin, in 2019, Yumati received a warning. 30 of the world's leading scientists released the result of a massive three-year study into global agriculture and declared that meat production is destroying our planet and geoparsing global health. One of the studies author explained that humanity now poses the threat of the stability of the planet. This requires nothing less than a new global agricultural revolution. As somebody who spent the last two decades advocating a shift away from industrial meat production, I wanted to believe that this clarion call was going to make a difference. The thing is, I've seen this sort of thing again and again and again for decades. Well, here's 2018 from the Journal of Nature, and 2017 in the same way, and 2016 from the National Academy of Science, explain the same problem. The main point of these studies tends to be a climate change, and an antibiotic resistance represents just as a big of the trade. We are feeding massive doses of antibiotics to farm animals. These antibiotics are then mutating into superbugs that trade them to render antibiotics obsolete within a lot of lifetimes. You want a scare? Google the end of the working antibiotics. I'm going to, to get one thing to everybody. I'm not here to tell anybody uh, uh, what to eat. That's a, a decision. Uh, that's one of the things that we we can notate and and we like uh, uh, students that are trying to, to get better at these systems is for us to take in action from this. Uh, knowing that in, in some 50 years ago, uh, it's, it's high that it's being recorded in this history, that the, the price of the meat. The average North America last year are more than two pounds of meat. And there are there are person that doesn't eat anything of any one of them. In a current trajectory, we're going to need to be producing 70 of 100 percent more meat by 2050. This requires a global solution. What we need to do is we need to produce the meat that people love. But we need to produce it in a whole new way. I've got a couple of ideas. Idea number one, let's grow meat for plants. Instead of growing plants, feeding them to animals, and all of that inefficiency, let's grow those plants, let's biomimic, and let's make plant-based meat. Idea number two, for actual animal meat. Let's grow indirectly from cells. Instead of growing live animals, let's grow the cell directly. It takes six weeks to grow a chicken to slower weight. Grow to sell directly, you can get the same growth in six days. This is a one that looks like at a scale. Let's your friendly neighborhood meet February and It's interesting to make some observations. First of one, we believe that we can do it. In recent years, some companies have been producing meat for plants that consumers cannot be used from actual animal meat and are doses of companies growing actual animal meat directly from cells. This plant bases and cell-based meat that give consumers everything that they love about meat the taste, the texture, and so on, but with no need for antibiotics, and with a friction of adverse compact on the climate, and because these two technologies are so much more efficient at production scale, these products will be cheaper, 
But one quick point about that, it's not going to be easy. These plant-based companies have been spending small fortunes on their burgers. On shelf basis meat has not yet been commercialized at all. So we're going to need all hands on deck to make this global meat industry. For starters, we need the present meat industry. We don't want to disprove the meat industry, we want to transform it. And we need their economies of scale, the global supply chain, they are making enterprise, and their massive consuming base. We also need governments. Governments spend deals of billions of dollars of every single year on research and development, focused on global health and the environment. They should be putting some of that money into optimizing and their perfecting the production of plant-based and cell-based meat. Tens of thousands of people derail from antibiotic resistant superbugs in North America just last year. By 2015, that number is going to be 10 million per year globally. And climate change represents an existential threat to a huge portion of our global family, including some of the poorest people on the face for the planet. Climate change and the beauty resistance, there are global emergencies. And meat production is exacerbating this emergence on a global scale. But we are not going to decrease meat unless we give consumers alternatives. The cost the same or less, that tastes the same or better. We have the solution. Let's make meat for plants. So let's grow it directly from cells. It's past time was we were mobilized the resources that are necessary to create the next global agricultural revolution. Thanks.